Jersey Q&A, five minutes or less, episode two, take one. Mark. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my dining room. We're excited to have you join us for our second publisher privacy Q&A video. In episode one of this series, we explained what the privacy sandbox is, and now we'll go further to simplify how the technology works. By describing how we can incorporate new privacy approaches into online advertising, my hope is that you'll have a better sense of how privacy and ads can both exist in the future. A key principle of the privacy sandbox is that individual users should not be identified across sites. Now to do this, the privacy sandbox requires web browsers to take on a new role of protecting people's information as they navigate the web. And it does this by only passing the necessary data required to deliver a more relevant and safer ad experience online. It's sort of like a filtration system for your user's data. All right, let's talk about how it's done. Question one, how will the privacy sandbox solutions keep people's data private? The technologies that make this possible are based on privacy strategies like differential privacy, k-anonymity, and on-device processing. They are innovative, they're user-focused, and they're proven to be effective. Let's start with differential privacy, which is all about adding a layer of randomness to data sets. It works by incorporating statistical noise to make it impossible to distinguish the identity of a single person from the rest of the group. Employing this approach will continue to allow advertisers to measure critical things like how many people saw their ads, but not which sites they saw the ads on. Next up is k-anonymity, which is a metric commonly used in fields like medical research to measure how anonymized a data set is. By utilizing k-anonymity for advertising, marketers can effectively reach groups of people while also protecting the identity of all individuals. A good way to think about how anonymization works is looking at crowds at concerts. For example, you don't need to know who each person is to know that just about everyone there is a fan of music and the artist playing. The last privacy strategy I'll touch on is called on-device processing. Today, with so much data captured and stored across the web, it's difficult for people to control who has access to their information, where it's stored, and how it's used. With advances in technology, data can be stored and processed locally, right on people's devices. This means you can still deliver and measure relevant ads all while your audience's data travels less. And one thing you may not know is that users are already benefiting from these privacy strategies today. All right, let's keep going. Question two, how will the privacy sandbox impact your advertisers? For your advertising clients, the privacy sandbox is being developed to uphold the original promise of digital advertising. And that's the ability to reach the right person with the right ad at the right time. What's new and exciting about these solutions is that they will continue to uphold this promise without the need to know a user's identity. What do I mean by that? With Sandbox proposals, we intend to help your advertisers continue to do important things like serve relevant ads based on users' interests and online activity, remarket to past site visitors, and measure the effectiveness of their ads. These concepts are still in development and may change over time. But to get them right, we are conducting extensive testing to ensure they are both privacy forward and effective. Last question, will privacy sandbox solutions last? We understand that you don't wanna invest in solutions that you'll need to replace within just a few years. And that's why we continue to engage with regulators, industry partners, including you, and privacy experts to validate our approach. It's for these reasons we're confident that in the long run, our solutions will stand the test of time. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for this episode, but if you still want more, don't worry, we've got you covered. Visit privacysandbox.com for more information. Thanks again and see you next time.